Did you see that little one? <laughs> It's watching us again. When you hold your robot's hands, your beloved robot partner's hands, how does it, the robot, how does the robot feel? Have you thought about it? Have you thought about it that how is the sense of touch comes to the robot partners? Hello and welcome to the channel where we talk about your beloved robot partners and try to know about everything, about everything, about the love robots, okay? From its head to toe, everything from hardware to software to algorithms, everything we know about this robot partners. And Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, lots of thanks for your support. Today, we are going to talk about the sense of touch. That means a very specialized subset of extraceptive sensors that we have discussed before that gather information through direct physical contact. That means when you touch a robot, it knows in which place you are touching. So let's uh, dig deep and know about tactile sensors. What are tactile sensors? What is the, this sense of touch and how it comes to uh, work? I mean, tactile sensors are a very specialized subset of extraceptive sensors. And extra, what are extraceptive sensors that gather information about the environment, about the external world? Okay, the sense of the out, outer world. I mean, the sense of the world, and that comes to the sense of touch because through this by gathering information about the world it actually knows the direct physical contact and it is modeled after the biological sense of touch that means human models humans know when someone touches a some place i mean in some body parts humans know we know that someone is touching my hand someone is touching my face something like that so they're crucial for manipulation grasping safe interaction with objects and people and you know many more things of course i don't want to go uh, beyond that because that will be too much for uh, this channel and i don't want to i don't want to go deep into it how this why they, they are crucial for manipulation for grasping and self interaction with objects and people anyway so tactile sensors have some categories there are you know uh, whenever you think about in any kind of touch there are some pressure there are some vibrations, there are some temperatures. You feel the temperature, okay, it's hot, it's, no, oh, your hand is so cool, your hands are so warm. So you know it, you touch and know it, right? And at the same time, you squeeze some parts of your, of your, of someone's body, your robot partner's body. So pressure, pressure sensor, it calls pressure sensor arrays. These are grids of tiny four sensors that measure the distribution of pressure across a surface, like a robotic fingertip. And here is some function. It allows a robot to determine an object's shape, hardness, and his, its grip is distributed. Technologies include uh, different types of resistance changes with pressure and capacitivity, that means capacitance changes with pressure sensors. So this is a very complex process, you know. And vibration sensors are what? These are highly sensitive accelerometers that can detect fine vibrations. That means it has also some functions. That means used to determine an object's texture by feeling vibrations created as a robot, robotic finger slides across its surface. They're also excellent for detecting slip when an object starts to fall from a grasp. And of course, finally, we should not forget about temperature sensors because this measures the temperature of an object upon contact. When you touch something, you know that whether it's hot or cold. It has also a function that helps a robot partner identify materials. That means, is it a human's hand or is it some, is it some another robot? That means, is it a metal, plastic, skin? What is it? So, it handles temperature sensitive objects quite safely. 
and there are more to come in this channel so stay tuned and keep watching we'll talk about more and more sensors not only sensors hardware software algorithms everything in this channel so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe